guys, welcome back to uh, this week's episode of Form Check Friday. This is your host, Jim Ellie, and let's get right into it. We only have one video to take a look at this week, um, but I think I'm going to use it as a way to discuss something even more important, which is the uh, way in which we utilize our scapula and the bench press. So one of the things that is changing in the IPF is that we're imp they're implementing new rules um, so that your elbow has to drop below the top of... It either has to be in line or below the top of the shoulder joint. However, I do believe it's difficult to determine where exactly the shoulder joint is because there are three of them. But during the feet up bench press, it is an opportunity for us to basically develop strength without relying on the stability increases that we get from leg drive. So we still have control over our scapula, but we don't have as much of the reinforced stability from our legs that allows the scapula to stay depressed throughout the full range of motion. However, we can activate scapula depression without the legs. So the legs are like reinforcers. You know, it's like the structures for a building. Um, yes, you need the structures to kind of keep everything stable in the event that there's movement, but in certain circumstances, uh, you could just have like the outer layer of a building and it still stands until like wind knocks it over or whatever. That's kind of like a feet up bench press. Um, but I do like to believe that your upper body is a lot more resilient than like a, a building without any support structures. <laughs> so, um, that is why I like the feet up bench press. That is the reason I, I like to, or I guess this is Larson press. It's why I like to program Larson press. Uh, to, to reinforce that your chest, your front delts, and your scapula can do most of the work on their own without the utility of the leg and leg drive. Because again, the legs are reinforcers of the stability that you're already creating. So you can see here that Robert already has an, uh, an arch in his lumbar spine without maximizing it like he would if he had his legs on the ground, like with the feet up bench. I'm sorry, like with the competition bench. So... With the feet up bench press, we still want to engage the scapula. You can see that if we kind of look at it from the unrack position, obviously he uses his legs to unrack the bar because there's a good amount that he has to press the bar over his shoulders um, as the, the bar looks to be right below his face. So there is a good amount that he has to press. So using your legs during the feet up bench press or a Larson press on the unrack is very good because it can teach you about the about the stability requirements for the remaining part of the lift because like I said, the legs are reinforcing the stability. So as at the beginning, this is a really good cue or a good way for you to teach the upper back the stability to expect. And then once it's in a good and comfortable position, you can elevate the feet like Robert does. And, and the, you know you're doing this well when you release the feet your, your chest doesn't completely collapse. So note the elevation in the lumbar and therefore the rib cage and the shoulder position. So as Robert L, uh, moves his feet away from his hips and from the ground, there is obviously some movement here, but if anything, it's, it's maintained really well. And a lot of that is because he's maintaining scapular depression using his lats to hold the scapula in a stable position. Now, Larson press can be very difficult if you do not allow your lats to be, um, how do I, it's gonna do anything. Yeah, if you do not allow the lats to engage during this process, then stabilizing the bar and having a consistent touch point will be very difficult. And what you'll typically see during Larson presses, if this isn't something that is prioritized, is that the 
sorry, if the lats are not engaged, the bar will really start shaking on the way down, especially as he gets to his chest. But that's not happening. Instead, he has an incredibly stable upper back position. The lats are engaged and he's able to stabilize without, again, reinforcing his legs to drive the upper back into the into the bench pad like you would on a competition bench press. So this just reinforces the utility of the lats and you can see the lats engaging um, throughout the full range of motion. They're, they're keeping up with the humerus and with the movement of the scapula uh, so that they can keep the scapula in a good comfortable position. So most of the pressing can be done with the front delts and with the upper chest. Um, and then obviously the triceps towards the end. So I hope that was a good synopsis of how feet up bench press can be useful and utilized during your main lifts. Um, if you have any questions, obviously just, you know, just let me know. I don't, yeah, I'm only one in here. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, just message me on Instagram at gym.zowstrength or you can follow us on zowstrength. If you're watching this within the community, obviously just send me a message about this. But hopefully this was helpful, and I'll uh, talk to you guys next time.